Bonjour, hola, guten tag. Welcome to the screencast for section 10.1. This is our last complete chapter of this uh, of this academic year. So um, let's go ahead and jump right in in just a moment here. You'll notice that there's a little bit of vocabulary that has to do with setting the scene for a story. Some of it has to do with like weather expressions and a few other little things. Another one uh, or another thing that you'll notice is in addition to scene setting, we'll actually be doing some interrupting actions with those scene settings. So like you might be saying something along the lines of, it was pouring out when someone knocked on the door or something like that. That's what we call an interrupting action style sentence. So what will happen occurs you're, you're, you're setting the scene in one situation and then something happens all of a sudden. That will require use of the preterite, or I'm sorry, the imperfect tense when you're setting that scene, and then the preterite tense when that action happens. So that'll be something that we look at a little bit more closely in just a few minutes. First, we'll take a look at your vocabulario, setting the scene for a story. And we'll go ahead and begin. First of all, el aguacero is a downpour. Not just raining, but a downpour, el aguacero. Caerse is to fall. Casarse is to get married. Despedirse is to say goodbye. Despedirse. Despejado means clear. So, un día muy despejado would be like a very clear day. Dormirse, to fall asleep. Enamorarse de, to fall in love with. You may have noticed the word enamorate, all right? So there are some cognates, some related words, right? Erase una vez, once upon a time. Hace mucho tiempo, a long time ago. Hace mucho tiempo. Húmedo, humid. Irse to go away or to go quickly. La niebla is our um, clouds or fog. La niebla can mean either one. Nublado means cloudy. Nublado. Perverse is to, uh, is to get lost. Or to lose something. El rayo is a bolt of lightning. El rayo. Romperse is to break. Romperse. Se cuenta que means to, means the story goes that. So se cuenta que is so the story goes or the story goes that. Dot, dot, dot. That would be a sentence. Fragment, of course. Soleado means sunny. Has the word sol right in it. La tormenta is a storm. La tormenta. El trueno is thunder. El trueno. El valle is a valley. El valle obviously looks kind of similar there, right? Okay. Um, taking a look at our new grammar for this chapter. Let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. And come over here with it. There it is. Preterite and imperfect contrast. This is a little bit about, whoops. I don't know what's going on there. We're just kind of going back and forth. Um, let me move this down just a little bit here so you can see it better. There we go. And I will move myself around a little bit here. Okay, so um, that helps a little bit. Predator and imperfect contrast. When talking about the past, an action in progress can be often interrupted or can often be interrupted by some event. In that situation, the imperfect expresses the action in progress and the predator expresses the interrupting event. Example. Why, why is this continuing to do that? Okay, here we go. Regresábamos a casa cuando empezó a llover. We were returning home when it began to rain. So regresábamos would be the we were returning. A casa cuando empezó a llover. So here's the scene setting or the item in, uh, that's, that's happening. And here's the action that occurs. Empezó a llover. It began to rain. That's the event. That's the scene. So we're going to have a lot more examples of that and uh, as we practice through this week. I'm going to move myself out of the way here so you can read that, right? No, that a little bit better. There we go. Anyways, uh, the imperfect also describes the conditions surrounding a particular event, uh, the way things were, what is going on, the way people felt. For example, hacía frío y había niebla cuando el accidente ocurrió. It was a cold and it was foggy when the accident occurred. So here's an interrupting event right here, and here's a couple scene setting 
or ongoing situation style verbs, okay? So um, hopefully what you're getting across here is that when you're setting the scene and things are in process in the past, that's always going to be the imperfect tense. But when something happens, like events or series of actions, that's going to be more the preterite tense style of conjugation. So um, that comes to the end of what our main focus is for this week. So I'll probably just uh, give you an opportunity to earn some extra credit by writing five sentences using um, preterite and imperfect tenses within the same sentence. So give me some uh, five interrupting action style sentences where something is happening and then all of a sudden an event occurs. All right. Do five sentences like that. Write them in Spanish and then their English translations below. I'll take a look at them in class. It's an opportunity for you to earn another five, uh, five points, a point per sentence. And we'll tack it on to whatever you want for your vocabulary. If you have questions about this, of course, you can always email me or bring your questions to class on Monday. We'll be willing to help you out there too. Hope all is well. Ciao, hasta luego y adios.